Greetings, everybody. OK, I've been asked to give a quick um, toolkit, a, a bit of a background on electric vehicles and charging. Um, and I guess the context here is in uh, community energy projects, electric vehicles in the future are probably going to be one of the more important electrical loads that you, you, your energy systems are going to have to deal with. Um, now, just to get some terminology, is this, a, is this an electric car? Yes or no? No, you're right. Not an, not an EV. So just for definitional purposes, electric vehicles are ones that get, as a system, the vehicle gets its energy from, a, from the plug, wholly or partially. This, this, as a system, gets all its energy from its petrol tank. So it's, even though it's got a battery and it's got a drive motor, it is not an EV for our purposes. So here are two other vehicles. Are they EVs? Well, the one on the right is the Holden Volt. It's, what, uh, it's my car. It takes petrol. It also plugs into the PowerPoint. So for my purposes, it, it, it qualifies as an EV. The other one, that's a, a Nissan Leaf. It's a pure EV. It, it, its only energy source is, is the plug. So, uh, and by the way, that photo is taken at Ceres uh, Environment Park. Um, is that an EV? No, it looks just like a, just looks just like a, uh, a Hyundai gets, but um, actually it is an EV. So um, just to, to point out that some EVs are, are hiding in plain sight in our community, pretending to be something else. Uh, and uh, and um, this, this car was actually built up um, Dean's Way um, in Castlemaine. Um, oh, who's playing with my slides? Um, so yeah, that's a, an electric vehicle conversion. Um, lots of people talk about batteries in the context of EVs. So I think an, the unsung hero of electric vehicles is the uh, AC induction motor um, because it turns electricity into um, motion, but it also does the opposite. It turns the motion of the car back into electricity. And one of the key reasons why EVs are so cool is they can um, recover most of their braking energy back, in, back into the battery, which is uh, a very neat. Uh, cap capability is what makes them so efficient. Um, but the main part of this brief talk is going to be about um, charging, EV charging. And, and one key term that uh, I'd like you to take away is the term EVSE, Electric Vehicle Supply Equipment. Um, that picture shows an example of EVSE. It, it, that's, a, a, a two, that's two charging units, uh, a unit built by Tritium in Brisbane, I think. Um, Here's another example of, of, a, of a charging unit. Thanks. Um, this is what you call level one charging. That's my daughter. Um, and that just plugs into a regular 10 amp power point. So that's, uh, that's sort of the entry level, what, what most EVs can, can get. And what, what Emma's holding there is what's called a type one plug. So there's this, the Society of Automotive Engineers standardized the basic interface for a plug socket arrangement. Uh, for charging EVs, um, and um, that's also used on um, level two charging. So level one charging from a home PowerPoint, level two charging as a fixed infrastructure um, at higher, higher powers, 15 to 30 amps roundabouts. Um, and incidentally, one of these units uh, went into, was launched in Dalesford on the weekend. And did anyone go to that event? Yep. Um, so they're an important, they're probably the mainstream public charging arrangements. Um, as a variant of that, um, you've got things like this. That's, this is from a company called Jet Charge, based here in Melbourne, uh, called socket charging. So instead of having a, a cable running out of it, they've got a socket, and the expectation is that the customer will have the adapter cable that plugs between the, the wall unit and the car. And, that can support many different types of, of, of cars because you just need the owner of the car needs the right adap adapter cable. Um, so that, that's the socket, and at the other end it plugs into the unit like that, and at the other end it plugs into the car like that. So that's another arrangement starting to see more traction. Um, now that previous picture was of a Nissan Leaf, and this is looking in that charge port. On the right hand side is a type one socket, on the, on the left hand side, sorry, a type, type one, type two socket. Um, um, sorry, level one, level two uh, 
uh, charging from the right-hand side. And uh, what we see on the left is what's called uh, level three, or fa DC fast charging uh, is what it's often referred to. Um, and so there's reasonably good standardization about level one and level two charging. There's not very good standardization on the fast charging. So that's one of the key uh, constraints in terms of um, EV charging. It's like the beta versus VHS issue of getting the standards right. Um, and from the land of understatement um, comes the, the, um, the so-called supercharger. Uh, this is an example of DC fast charging for a Tesla. Um, and and with, with that, we're talking you know, upwards of 100 kilowatts of, of charging. Um, uh, where, uh, EVs are good for, uh, for share cars. And to wrap it up, uh, EVs are, are good for all of our community and fit in well with uh, community energy infrastructure. Thank you very much.